2017 was a different year for different people. It was meh for a good amount of folk, a disappointing year for hyped up products and events. As someone who's building my small area here on the web, it was up and down. Continued growth, but also dealing with ad boycotts and the usual competition from everywhere else. But I have to say that the close of this year was indeed memorable. Because I witnessed and survived the greatest wildfire in California history. The Thomas Fire. Two thousand eighteen. Time to start thinking optimistically. It's a little hard to after this past December two thousand seventeen. The Thomas Fire hit and it hit hard. My story goes a little like this. I was coming home from work after the power outage, and I figured uh, I was going to come home early and get some sleep. Uh, well, that was uh, never meant to be, because as soon as I arrived, as I could see over the mountain, a huge pillar of smoke, flames dripping down. Some had said it was a vision from hell. And as people had fled, honking their horns in panic, people walking down the street in smoke. I can't say that I disagree with them. It was a remarkable and terrible event that I can one day tell as I'm older, but pretty sure don't want to live through ever again. The Thomas Fire of Ventura County is the largest wildfire in California's modern history. The blaze surpassed the size of the 2013 Cedar Fire near San Diego, which destroyed 273,246 acres. The Thomas Fire was devastating ever since it began on December 4th, fueled by the strong Santa Ana winds. It remains as the third most destructive in structure losses. The Santa Ana winds combined with the fire brought destruction upon Santa Paula, Ventura, Fillmore, Ojai. Soon after the fires ended, the mudslides in Montecito were even more devastating. With over a hundred homes destroyed and lives lost,
Behind me is uh, the Arroyo Verde Park. Uh, I made a short film over here. family get-togethers. I even went to a concert over here. And because of the Thomas fire, it is now closed indefinitely. Uh... of Ventura have endured, but not without a little bit of help. Enough can't be said about the brave men and women of the fire department, law enforcement, and the National Guard. From a very grateful city, thank you guys very much. It is because of you that we are safe. This is the Ventura Cross overlooking the whole city. Uh, one of the earlier rumors uh, coming out of the Thomas Fire incidents would have been the one where 
the, uh, the cross had burned down. Um, and that wasn't true. Everything, or mostly everything surrounding it, except for the cross, went down. Um, so for believers or unbelievers, take that as you will. Um, Ventura will rebuild, and Ventura is strong. I feel a lot of emotions when dealing with this, when dealing with the whole Thomas fire incident. But um, strength is one of the feelings, and hopefully that continues with, with everybody. And uh, it was a memorable Christmas season, to say the least. And um, I don't wish this on anybody, but if you do go through this, remember, you have a lot of community members who are sticking with you, strengthening you friends, family, they're all here for you, and they were here for me, and I can't thank them enough.